friends. Hello. We're here to talk about Dreams of Gods and Monsters by Lainey Taylor. This is going to be a spoiler-free review, so if you have read the book and you would like to see our discussion, you can find it linked below. I'm Christina. I'm Jessica. And you're watching Game, Game of, of Tomes. Tomes. Okay, well, here's the thing. We just... <laughs> Listen. <laughs> we just did the discussion video yeah. Yeah. where all we did was bash this book. <laughs> and we, that was not our intention. No, it was not. It just, we, it, that's all of our feelings came you out. You even had a list of things. <laughs> Did we talk about any of them? No, really. Were they good things? I mean, yeah. Did we just ignore everything and go off on our own little rant? I think so. I didn't hardly use my notes. That's okay. We both listened to this on audiobook. I gave it 3.5 stars. Christina gave it 3 stars. Mm -hmm. How did you feel? I've said it before, but audiobooks have a hard time tuning out sometimes. And I felt like I was missing something and I chalked it up to the audiobook, but it turns out I wasn't. I just didn't care. I kind of didn't. I kind of didn't care. <sighs> and I love listening to audiobooks and I don't generally have that problem. Yeah. Of tuning them out. And if I do, I catch it really quick and, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, like stop to think about it if I need to. The book felt open-ended as F. Yeah. The end was like... It's not over, but it will be over in the distance, and we will all be okay. Yeah. I was mostly disappointed with the lack of explanations. Yeah. Like, like I, just, I just got, wanted a lot more from we, it. We got more characters at, like, the very end, and it just felt rushed. Yeah, I agree. It felt rushed. And I ended up not caring about this book very much or the people in it. Upon our discussion, I felt like I liked the be the book less than I thought I did. <laughs> like I should give it yeah. two stars because all we did was like talk negatively about it and I know that I enjoyed it at points. I just can't remember them. <laughs> yeah, there were definitely parts that I did enjoy in this yeah. book, but for the most part there was just a lack of connection to the characters. Yeah, I was so upset that I felt that way. Yeah. Because I, I loved the first book. First book, I gave five stars. Absolutely loved it. And I was so invested. Yeah. And I cared so much about these characters and the storyline and what was going on. And we had just read Cake's Night of Cake and Puppets. Thank you. Yes. I loved it. Yes. Five stars. And so I was so invested in this world and everything. And then this book came along and I was just kind of like, eh. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. It was just, um. It was just okay. Maybe it's just us. Maybe. You know, but it was just, um... And her writing is beautiful. And the narrator, the audiobook... Christine Vam. Christine Vam is a darling, and I would yeah. listen to any book that she would read. She does a really good job. She does. Yeah. I just didn't feel as connected in this book, and that had a really huge impact on my rating. Indeed. We start out at the cave, and I love the cave scenes. Yeah. I thought they were super cool, and it kind of reminded me of The Host a little bit, probably because it was the only other book where you're underground yeah, like that in a cave. Yeah, I really enjoyed The Host. Did you ever th think of The Host? No, I didn't. And, like, the pools... It's been a long time since I've read The Host. I just kind of imagined The Host a little bit. That yeah. book sticks out in my mind, um, the scenery, because I just, like, I could imagine it so vividly, Yeah, and I can still remember that. I got flashbacks of The Host. Even, oh my gosh, like the whole thing where there's like a soul and a body that's not theirs. <gasps> yeah, you're Weird. right. Oh, I wonder if she got a little bit of inspiration from Stephanie Meyer. I don't know, but like, I just made a connection in my brain that I did not have. Oh, interesting. Indeed. You start out in the cave with everything, and then you follow the Chimera and the angels trying to work together to defeat the army. But it, it was a lot more character driven than it was plot driven, I think. Yeah, and it felt like a time where it needed to be Plot. super plotty. Very and plotty. we had these long monologues in somebody's head. It didn't feel like the right time. Yeah, it was just kind of... I needed to see their actions. Sam from Thoughts on Tomes talked about this book, and I completely agree with her when she says it should have been four books. Four books. And the themes in this book should have been fleshed out more. I agree. Because the it's... end felt rushed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it really should have been expanded on and explained a little bit more. It almost just feels like she got halfway through writing this book and was like, I think I'm ready to move on. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Kind of like when Mockingjay happened. Did you read Mockingjay? The last I book? did, but it's been a long time. I just remember well. feeling like it but was But then rushed. it's almost like they want to leave it kind of open-ended just in case they decide to come back to it. And I just... 
That's not. Um, we're just really over it. <laughs> Which sounds bad. We were, we loved the first book and yeah. we really enjoyed the second book. Mm -hmm. And this one, we just really didn't feel that connection there like we right. did previously. And so I think, you know, eh. yeah. Bummer. But, I mean, we're not trying to dissuade anyone from continuing yeah, on with the series. I'm, I'm very glad that we finished and it. And I was into it. We got, we got answers. We just weren't exactly happy with how they were explained. Yeah. I wanted more explanation than the, what we got, is all. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. I, I think that's enough. Sure. Uh, if you have read it, please watch our discussion. You can find it linked below. And let us know what you thought about the other books as well. We have review and discussions on those. You can find those linked below as well. When you play the game of tomes, you read or you die. Come be our friends. Social media links in the description below. And we hope you're reading a great book. Bye. Goodbye. Hello, friends. Hello. We're here to talk about Daughters of Bridges. <laughs> <laughs> Dreams of Gods and Monsters. Yes, you got it. There I can't go. remember the names of these stupid I books. can't either. Oh, gosh. Did you see that dog here? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There it goes. I see it. <laughs> you make me a better woman. <laughs>